composition James flat. Ideally, I would like to have double underhooks, or I would like to have a crawl space in an underhook, okay? But I want to keep it flat, all right? His objective, as we talked last week, is to be up onto a side, establishing underhooks and stopping his crawl space, okay? So that's the battle between both of us. Now, what I'm going to look to do from here, guys, is just make it simple and easy. As soon as I land here, I'm disconnected, kind of in the half guard. I'm going to simply look and slide my hands along his body, shooting the underhook here. And now I'm actually going to look to get the underhook on the inside arm as well. If I can get double underhooks here, guys, I am in a very, very good position because now he cannot use his hands to push on my legs. When I get this double undergrip here, guys, I like to grab my hands into the collar and I like to flare my elbows and I like to bring my body this way. Now it makes it very hard for James to roll me in this direction. If you look to grab the collar here and I stay a little bit too centered on James, and James is strong and powerful here, a really good bridge and roll, he's going to take me over. But if I get this grip, flaring my elbows out, and bring myself this way, now when he looks to try to take me in that direction, it's very difficult. Now once I've gotten to this point, I'm going to take this foot, and I'm going to look the hook up and over top of his thigh. If I can hook my instep inside, like I'm doing right now, I will. Now from here, I'm just going to look to push with this leg, as I look and push my knee through. Oh, keep lock, keep lock. Now from here, I transition my foot out of that, and I look to start pushing on this top leg, and I free my leg here. Now once I get into this position, I'm simply going to look to push, square my hips up, I can look out and put my hand around. 